For the first time in decades, there will be someone new leading Bear County as Bear County Judge, head of County Commissioner's Court. Of course, that's after Nelson Wolf stepping down after those two decades. So that has opened the door for some new faces to enter this race, but some very familiar. And all week we are talking to the candidates in this race. Yesterday, we talked with Judge Peter Sakai. Tomorrow, we have Isalise Mesa Gonzalez, who is running. And then on Friday, we'll be talking to Trish DeBerry also in this contest. But let's talk about today. We are joined now by State Representative Ina Minjades, who is also running for Bear County Judge. You have served District 124 almost seven years now. So talk about why enter this race. Why do you want to be Bear County Judge? You know, I, it was unforeseen that Judge Wolf, after serving 20 plus years as, as our county judge, was going to retire. An opportunity like this doesn't happen every day. And so I had a number of community leaders and, and family and, and just constituents in the district reach out and talk to me about considering running for this position. You know, I've got the experience. I've learned a lot at the legislature. Many of, of the issues that I dealt with are going to come before commissioner's court. You know, I was a Bear County member on appropriations, which decided, you know, how to appropriate over $200 billion uh, to the state of Texas. And so I bring that key experience, you know, the, the budget experience, uh, infrastructure, health and human services. I bring a lot uh, to the table and I decided I'm ready to come home and lead the county. What are three issues that you plan on focusing on? I mean, obviously there's probably more than three, but what are three major issues that you plan on focusing on if you're elected? Sure. You know, one of the, the the one number one priority definitely is is meaningful property tax reform. I can Republicans, Democrats, independents, our county homeowners want want meaningful property tax reform. In addition to that is is looking into our infrastructure needs. The Bear County is growing leaps and bounds, and we've got to figure out how we handle that growth uh, in, a, in a good way, in a smart way. And then also looking at community uh, health and safety. You know, after the pandemic, we've got a lot of challenges ahead, and we've also got to consider how we keep our neighborhoods safe. So, yes, you're right. There are a lot of, uh, of issues to contend with, but those are my three priorities. So let's talk about one more here. The, the Bear County Sheriff's Office, uh, the issue specifically uh, when it comes to finances within the Sheriff's Office, over time within the jail, it has been an issue for years uh, for multiple sheriffs uh, who have served in that position. So is there something that you think needs to be done to address that in order to make sure uh, that we're not continually paying and really increasing the budget for overtime for that department? Most definitely, we can't continue to be kicking the can down the road. T taxpayers are requiring accountability. And you're right, I was once a former prosecutor uh, in 2000 to 2006, and the jail was a problem then, overtime was a problem then. So what I'm hoping is, you know, now that the commissioner's court has commissioned two studies in the jail, I want to look at what, what the proposals are, what was found in that study. But in addition, I want to visit with the rank and file. I want to visit with the sheriff. I want to visit with all of the stakeholders. Because at the end of the day, this is something we've got to resolve. Um, there needs to be transparency and accountability. But I also want to make sure that our sheriffs, our detention officers are taken care of. But in addition to ensuring inmate safety as well. What do you believe sets you apart from the other candidates that are in this race? Definitely my legislative experience. You know, I, I got incredible experience in the Texas House serving on key committees, as I mentioned before, uh, appropriations, handling the budget, handling infrastructure and transportation. I've also served on the Cyber Cybersecurity Committee, Health and Human Services. I got key experience in the legislature that I can bring home and get, you know, get to work, uh, hopefully if elected. And I will say, you know, Commissioner Justin Rodriguez and also our, our Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf got their training at the legislature as well. You know, we are two years, of course, into this pandemic, and that has certainly been um, and it's had an effect statewide, nationwide, of course. Is there something when it comes to getting us you know, back on track in terms of the economy post pandemic? I hope that's something we can say soon. Yeah. But post pandemic, is there something you'd like to focus on there? You know, I definitely want to focus on really helping our small businesses. So many of our mom and pop businesses closed their doors. Uh, dreams were shattered. And I don't believe that a lot of them got the, the resources and the support that they needed during that time. So I definitely want to visit with our small business owners uh, throughout the county and, and figure out a way how to give them the help that they need 
because they are the backbone of our economy. And if they thrive, the county of Bear thrives as well. But they definitely need a seat at the table, and, and we owe that to them. Does this affect your campaigning at all with the pandemic that's out there? Uh, early voting started yesterday. I mean, mass social distancing, all of those things. I mean, does that affect you, your, your physical campaign for Bear County Judge? You know, we are doing things according to CDC guidelines. You know, we continue to, to walk and, and have an aggressive field campaign, but we're doing it within the guidelines. We're fully masked. We knock on the door, step away uh, from that front door, putting social distancing there. Uh, we're executing a plan. We have a strategy in place and we're, we're doing what we need to do uh, to ensure that we're victorious in this campaign. Representative Ina Minjada is running for Bear County Judge. Thanks for sharing some time with us here this evening. We'll be continuing our conversation about some of these topics with some of the other candidates in the race as we continue the week. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. We'll be right back.